welcome back to Keto Homestead with Jess. Today we're going to do an update on the quail. So follow along with me and I'll show you what's going on. Alright, so it's time for me to clean out this quail um, box. And I just keep, when my quail hatched out, I just keep them in a box that's easier to clean. So I can just throw the whole box away. I incubated 16 eggs. I had six quail hatch out and I had three, three survive, which I'm happy about. Um, three quail will give me quite a bit of eggs. They're, they produce eggs like crazy. So what do I, so what I do is I take a box and I line it with some newspaper just for a little bit of extra protection. So that's what I'm doing here. And like I said, when this gets all mucked up, then I can just throw the whole box away. And then on top of the newspaper, I add some pine shavings. Give them a nice new fluffy bed. Now that they're bigger, I can take out the little water container that I had for them. And what I do is I just cut an egg carton down. I'll add the top of the egg carton with some feed. And I'll just put that in the corner. And then... With this side of the egg carton I fill with water, they drink lots and lots of water. So you gotta keep, I think I water them at least five to six times a day. They are heavy, heavy water drinkers. I'll just put that in there. And they are getting big so they can jump now. So you need to make sure you have something over the top so that they don't jump out but they've gotten pretty good big they're getting their adult feathers in they're doing great oh there see he flew out okay so here's the third one put him down and there we go I am keeping them in my bathroom because it's easier for me to regulate the temperature in here and make sure that they're staying warm and safe and as soon as the weather breaks a little bit i will get these guys outside i'll give you another shot of them before i head off but i want to thank you for visiting keto homestead with jess and i hope to see you soon mm -hmm.